हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ गति एजुकेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ न्यू टॉपिक नेम डेस्क प्रोसेस फ्रेमवर्क एक्टिविटीज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट अस गो एंड लर्न दैट एज यू कैन सी इट इज रिटर्न प्रोसेस फ्रेमवर्क एक्टिविटीज सो वॉट प्रोसेस फ्रेमवर्क एक्टिविटी इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे so it represents the common activities that must be followed by all developers here in this subject we are talking about softwares and engineering those softwares so to engineer or develop that software what activities uh, we do that we are going to learn today so these activities are common activities to be followed by each and every developer to develop a software small number of activities applicable to, to all software projects so these activities are like small in number and are applicable to each and every project like whatever the software project is whatever the software product is it is applicable to each and every product so which activities are they so let us learn that that is number 1 is communication planning modeling construction deployment so i personally say as the process framework activities in short form it is c p m c d this is what i say the process framework activities is c p m c d why let us know that c here is communication what communication means is requirement gathering communication here means and requirement gathering what does that mean like when we are talking to make a software right so there can be a company and there can be a client right one is going to make or we can say just let us say there is a customer and there is a developer okay now developer needs to develop a software so before developing the developer should know what are the requirement of the customer like what the customer wants from the developer like how the developer should make the software right so number one activity out of process framework activity is communication communication means requirement gathering why requirement gathering the developer before developing anything should know what the customer wants next is planning now planning planning means planning plotting no after getting what a customer wants for example um, we are going to some shop and uh, stand at the counter so that uh, shopkeeper will ask us now what do you want so once we say that i want this that is what happened during communication na during communication it happened like whatever customer wanted customer told the developer so that is done so according to the example if i went to a shop and asked about what i want to the shopkeeper now what shopkeeper will be doing will be searching for the thing which i want and if he does not have he will talk to me like that that i can uh, get it for you or anything like that bus that is planning planning about how to make that software like planning in includes engineering work that is developing and all then comes plan how that engineering work will be done scheduling when to uh, uh, schedule which module when to make another module when to link the modules then technical risk resources etc everything is there in planning like typical planning of whatever is going to be done is done during this activity thereafter comes modeling now we know the requirement of the customer we know how we can fulfill that requirement what we are going to do which tool we are using what language we are going to use at what time we can uh, give the whole uh, project completed and all that everything we have clear in our minds right now next step is to develop that thing right so next is modeling modeling here means 
analysis, design and creation of model. That means analysis. Analysis means you, what you have planned is there. On this hand, I have something I have planned. On the other hand, I need to think upon it, na? That it is feasible or not. So analysis takes that thing, that the given thing is even feasible or not. We need to analyze our problem. We need to analyze the solution we are thinking to apply. Everything needs to be analyzed. Right? After the analyze, uh, analysis part is over, we need to model the project. For example, if I talk about some architecture or something, so they, uh, they first of all sketch and uh, get the 2D image and thereafter they make the 3D image to get clarified about the things, right? So we are also engineers, civil engineers can do that. So we are also engineers, we can also do that. Now we have some other models on which we can portray the things which we are going to do. We can put in a uh, design ki uh, first will be login page, thereafter home page, etc, etc. If I talk about some website, we can also uh, model things so that everything comes into modeling part. And thereafter, the next step is construction. Construction doesn't mean making a building. Construction means constructing a code here. Now, analysis part is over. We have made a model regarding the software. Now, we just need to portray that. So, coding is the next step. You just need to write the code for portraying the whole um, planned part and uh, the software will be ready. Once the coding part is over, then comes the testing part. We have written the code, but what if error occurs? So, we should also test the code and then and then only we can complete the task, right? So, after coding and testing, the last activity is deployment. What deployment means is software's delivery. Thereafter, some feedback and maintenance. Now, what software delivery means, you got to know. Once the software is developed, the coding is done, the testing is done, everything is done, documentation is also done. So, what is left? We just need to deliver that software to the customer that we have done right in the last step we do that only deployment means delivery of the software after that is the work over no when we are talking about software developers the work never gets over over there after that the customer will be giving some feedbacks to us that uh, did we do the correct task are, uh, are we on the uh, same path, what was there on the mind of the customer, the are we like matching the requirements or not, such feedbacks we can get from the customer and thereafter comes the maintenance part. Whenever we talk about any software, there can be bugs, there can be bugs. Again and again, uh, if we are updating the software, there can be bugs, we need to update that also. No error should occur. Such things comes into maintenance part. So after the delivery, the work does not get over. There is maintenance part. And that is for lifetime purpose. No? Till the software is in use, maintenance should be there. It is like our vehicles only. Whenever we are using the vehicle, we need to like maintain it. Now we need to service it. And then only it will work properly, right? So, these were the process framework activities. And these all activities are the base of software engineering. On the basis of these five activities, the software engineering works. So, in the whole syllabus of your software engineering subject, you are going to learn all these things only in a way like there might be units on communication planning and all there can be units on mo uh, modeling thereafter co comes the construction and all so you'll learn one by one about all the units you'll get to know how all the units are based on these activities you'll get to know afterwards but these five activities 
are the base of this whole subject. So this is the most important, like I would say, most important part of your first unit. After knowing the process framework activities, we should now know the umbrella activities too. There are some other activities which are a little bit different from this, but these are the basic ones. So let us move forward to the umbrella activity. This is how the umbrella activity look like. See, the process, software process is there. Thereafter, the process framework. About software process, we have a little bit of knowledge. What a software process means like processing a software and while making that software what processes ha are to be done and all we know a little bit of it thereafter comes it is a whole box this all the things are happening in the software process thereafter comes the process framework in the process framework all these tasks are to be done so all of our five activities we were talking about now process framework activities and somewhere going to happen here only and then comes umbrella activity so in umbrella activity there are framework activities which has some task sets this task set one task set two they can be as many as possible for umbrella activity one there are two task set available here and just like number one umbrella activity there can be n numbers of umbrella activities so what does task set mean so the task set defines the actual work done we were talking about planning and all the huh? planning we have done right what actual work we have done is written in the task set so there is one task set saying the work task about the product, the quality assurance thing, the point milestone and everything is written here. So whatever project we are making regarding that the quality assurance work, the tasks we have divided within, the modeling thing we have done, all the original done tasks are mentioned in the task set. The original work done. So there can be like there is one task set and after they can be written something here also in the second task set. This is how a framework activity looks like. And in umbrella activity, uh, uh, like number one it is now, till nth number of umbrella activity can be there. So there can be another umbrella activity, number two, which will again have framework activity. Which will again have task set. And the task set will define the task done. Whatever task is done. The like criteria of the project, planning, software uh, management or quality assurance or whatever the tasks are. These can be the tasks. So for the tasks, uh, you should once refer the book. There are some list of tasks available and the meaning of each and everything so that you will get to know over there right now here i'm completing this umbrella activity part umbrella activity looks like this and again umbrella activity is also important so this much for today's video and let us revise what we have done today we have only seen two topics which are very important First is process framework activities and other, other is umbrella activities which we have uh, done today. So this much for today's video and we will meet in the next video with a new topic of software engineering. Till then keep learning, be safe and if you learn something from my videos please subscribe my channel and press that bell icon to get the notification of each and every video uploaded. Thank you.